Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can create our first console application on Visual Studio. So if you haven't installed Visual Studio, please refer the link in the description. So we already installed it on our system to open it. After installing, go to start, type Visual Studio. Visual Studio 2019, click on it to open. Now herein we need to create a new project. So straight away we can click on create a new project. Let's leave this and click on continue without code. So guys this is our Visual Studio 2019. To create a new project, go to the menu file. Now go to new. Here let's click on project. So straight away you can search for templates here. What we want? We want console application for .NET framework. So let's search here. Here it is a project for creating a command line application. That is a console application. Now I'll just click on next. Configure your new project. So here you need to add the project name. Let's add the name Amit console app. This looks fine. Now here is the location for repository. If you want to change the location, click on the three dots that is browse. Solution name, let's keep the same. And framework, this is fine, 4.7.2. Now let's click on create to create our project. Console application. So you can see program.cs got created on its own by default and this is the default code. So let's understand this code before moving further. So this is the namespace. So by using system adds the system namespace in the entire program. So the following namespace this is basically a keyword which is used to declare a namespace Amit console app one. This namespace Amit console app one is having our class program. Here we have declared the class program. Within that we have our main method. I hope you know what is a main method. You can relate it to Java's main method. So this main method does the same work. This is the first method which gets executed and this is also considered as an entry point for a C program. So that's it. Here let's print something. So to print we will use console.write line. Here it is. Now let's add another line quickly. Here it is. So we have added two sample lines. What is this? You must be wondering. A method of the console class is write line. This is basically used to display a message on the screen. So we have added four C sharp program here. So on the screen, the following would be visible. And for this, the subscribe text would be visible on the screen. If you'll keep the cursor here, you can see it is a standard input, output and error streams for console application. So this is our console class. Now guys, we need to run it and display both the messages. How we'll do it? It's very easy. You can click on start here or you can press F5 key on your keyboard. I'll click on start, let's say. Now here you can see no issues found. So it ran successfully. You can see no error. But our output is not visible. Why? Because we haven't added console.read key. Add it. It's fine now. Now let's go to file and save all. I'll start it again. That is I'll execute it again. Here on the console now you can see for C sharp program and subscribe the same is visible here. If you want to increase the font here right click properties font 20 okay. Now you can see the output for C sharp program for this line and subscribe for this line. 
so guys in this way you can easily create a new application on visual studio we created a dot net console application and we also ran our first program successfully if you like the video do subscribe to our channel amit things